this mass is being offered for the reposal of Chris Lachance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they made kings, but not through me. They set up princes, but without my knowledge. With their silver and gold, they made idols for their own destruction. Your calf is rejected, O Samaria. My anger burns against them. How long will they be incapable of innocence? For it is from Israel, an artisan made it. It is not God. The calf of Samaria shall be broken to pieces. For they sow the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. The standing grain has no heads. It shall not yield the meal. If it, is, if it were to yield, the foreigners would devour it. When Ephraim multiplied altars to expiate sin, they, came, they became to him altars for sinning. Though I write for him the multitude of my instructions, they are regarded as a strange thing. Though they offer choice sacrifices, though they eat flesh, the Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their iniquities and punish for their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. In response to the psalm, the house of Israel trusts in the Lord. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold the work of human hands. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have mouth, but they do not speak. Eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. Noses, but they do not smell. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have hands, but do not feel. Feet, but do not walk. They take no sound in their throats. Those who make them are like them, so are all the trust in them. Home of Israel. Those who make them are like them, so they are all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The house of Israel trust in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking along, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons he casts out the demons. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing every disease and every sickness. When Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. In the beginning of the gospel, we see Jesus cast out a demon. When I read this gospel, when this comes to my mind even, my mind goes to back home. I have seen some people who are possessed by demons. And I have seen how much they undergo physical suffering. They torture themselves eat the flesh, dash their head on the wall. And what the family members do is they tied him up by rope or sometimes chain. Not only he himself, family members are embarrassed before the society. They undergo emotional, psychological and social distress. So we can imagine this situation. So in this situation, Jesus saved this person. He freed him from this demon. And we see the reaction from two sides of the society. First from religious and the other side, normal, ordinary people. Ordinary people, Jews, they appreciated what Lord did. They were thankful to him, grateful to him. But those religious leaders, Pharisees, they were jealous of him. They said Jesus was doing those things by the power of the Belzebul, the leader of demons. They didn't want to appreciate his goodness. So dear brothers and sisters, today let us reflect and see about ourselves, whether we are jealous of others when we see the goodness of others when they launch good work in the society. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in his divinity. Who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Amen. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.